everyone, you're very welcome to this week's bedtime story from here in this library. My name is Rachel and this week I'm going to read The Hundred Decker Books and it's by Mike Smith and it's published by Macmillan Children's Books. It was a Tuesday morning like any other. As usual, the bus driver finished his cup of tea at 5.57. As usual, he put on his jacket at 5.58. And as usual, he clambered onto his double-decker bus at 5.59. And at six o'clock exactly, he started the engine and drove out of the bus station. And just like every day, the man with the huge red tie got on at the roundabout. And just like every day, the lady with the pram got on at the library. And just like every day, the noisy children got on at Clover Drive. The driver sighed. He was bored with every day being the same. If only we were in that hot air balloon, he thought. We could float up and away and anywhere we like. And then he noticed a little road that he had never seen before. I wonder where that goes, he thought. The bus driver turned down the little road. This was not his usual route. It was exciting. Before long, the bus was heading out of the city and into the countryside. Excuse me, said the man in the red tie. Where are we going? I don't know, replied the driver cheerfully. Anywhere. The bus carried on. It came to new and different towns with new and different bus stops. This was an adventure. Before long, the bus was full of happy people who had no idea where they're going. After a whole day, they reached the sea. End of the road, said the driver sadly. We can't stop now, said the lady with the pram. Let's take the ferry. And so they did. Where are you going? asked a group of sailors on the ferry. Anywhere, said the driver. We're on an adventure. Will you give us a lift? asked the sailors. We'd love to, said the driver. But we're full up. So the sailors had a long think. The sailors worked hard all night hammering, clanking and drilling. And the next morning, it was a gleaming triple-decker bus that drove onto the shore. Word got round that a big bus was in town and soon it was full again. So the passengers got together to build a deck number four. Things were going very happily on the four-decker bus until, uh-oh, no problem, said the school children. We've got an idea and they invented a clever way of going under and over bridges. There's no stopping us now, they said, and decks five, six and seven soon followed. And on the bus drove, and further it went, the taller it got. After two months, the bus passed through a very hot country, so deck number 30 became a swimming pool with a deep end. Six months later, the bus was taller than the tallest skyscraper. And a year after they had set off, the bus was a hundred decks high. The passengers had a huge party that lasted all night long. It was the very next day that the noise started. Oh dear, said the driver, clunk, clunk, clunk. The day after that, the smoke started coming from the engine. And a dear, oh dear, said the driver. And the day after that, the blonnet flew away. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, said the driver. The poor bus driver, the poor bus had broken down. Everyone got off and looked at each other. Where are we going? They asked the driver. Nowhere, he replied sadly. Suddenly, someone with very sharp hearing said, I thought I heard a voice. And they all looked up and up and up. Would you like a lift? shouted the man in the balloon. And they all floated up and away and anywhere because this was, a, was an adventure. Now, I'll see you next week for more bedtime stories. Good night. Bye.